Hey, I'm going to show you how to import data from the web from a web page and put it into Excel and keep it refreshed. So right here we have the top gainers of the US stock market and we're going to try to get this data and put it into Excel. So what we want to do is highlight the URL here. I want to copy it. I want to go into Excel, go to the data tab from web and we want to put it in here so go ahead and paste it hit OK if you're prompted here for this I would just go ahead and put anonymous if you're doing this for the first time and apply it to the specific page hit connect and it's going to give you a few things here Document is not giving us what we want. Let's see if table zero does. And let's see if this matches up with the first result here. It does. And so since this looks good, why don't we just go ahead and hit load. I don't see any major issues here. All right, it looks good. So if we want to keep this refreshed, we want to go to data existing connections and this table zero here corresponds to right here so right click edit connection properties and you can refresh it every time you open the file or you can refresh it as often as you want let's say every five minutes we want to refresh this hit OK and just get out of here and anytime the stock market uh, updates and it updates here it will also update in Excel. All right, let's try something a little bit more complicated, but not too complicated. So right here, you can see CBS Sports college football rankings for American college teams, and has the ranking from one all the way to, it looks like 131. And so we have a couple different columns here that we'd want to extract. So why don't we highlight the URL, hit copy. Let's go into Excel, data from web. Let's put the URL in here, hit OK. And we can see this is the table we want right here. The data doesn't look perfect though. You can kind of see this is all uh, smushed together. So why don't we go to transform data? And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open the query builder here. So what we can do is, first of all, let's click on this team column right here. And let's go to split column by number of characters. And the reason we're gonna do that, as you can see, um, th it's pretty consistent here with uh, the record right here. You can see it's pretty much gonna be four characters all the way, because um, they don't play uh, enough games here for this to be double digit and this to be double digit. So we can just cut this off at five characters. So we're gonna click once as far right as possible, and do five. There are much better ways to do this, but uh, this is just a simple way. Uh, if you're in this situation and you don't want to write any code or you don't know how, uh, you can just do it this way. So hit OK. And so you can see this split it uh, and it looks real nice. No issues. All right. And so then we got this here, which is sort of a mess. So what we can do is hit add column, a custom column here. And what we're going to do is this is called next game. This is called two. It's kind of ugly, but we'll make it not ugly. So what we're going to do is click here for next game. And we're going to combine these, but make it look a little cleaner. So we're going to use next game, a space, and then uh, what is two right here. And we're going to hit OK. 
And so it looks a little bit better, but it's still not perfect. So what we can do is right click here, transform. We can clean this up a bit. So at least now it's all on the same line. If this is gonna bother you, this space right here, what you can do, you can right click on the column, replace values, and this looks about four spaces, so just hit one, two, three, four, hit okay, and it cleans it up. So let's get rid of a couple of these columns that we don't need anymore. We're gonna to go to remove, remove, we can get rid of this too and then we'll keep trend. We're gonna keep. And you can see we got our data set right here. Now again, if you want to keep this updated, you can see this corresponds to this right here. I wanna right click. So for something like this, it doesn't change by the minute usually. So you could just refresh data when you open the file. Um, but if you really, really want to, you could just refresh it again, however often you want to, say 30 minutes. And then every time it opens, or if you have it open for 30 minutes or more, it'll keep refreshing. So this is generally how it works. Uh, there are more complicated ways to do this, more sophisticated ways of getting these kind of data, um, but generally it's not too bad. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you could like or subscribe, it would help support the channel and allow me to do more of this in the future. Thanks again.